Hello and welcome to Vitality's Training Center. I'm your host, Brian Ford, and today we're going to go through the local number portability process in the new Vitality User Portal. To get started on this process, we're going to want to go to the home screen, and on the left-hand side under Products and Services, click on Number Portability. A sub-menu will populate saying Port Requests, and we're going to go ahead and click on that menu. This is going to bring us to the next screen. And this screen is going to have information like our current orders, what the status is of that order, and it's also going to have some other information for you. But we're going to submit a new port request, which we do by clicking on this button right here. The next page is going to have a couple of questions for us. The first one is, what is the NPA, which is the area code, and the NXX, which is the first three digits of the number that we are porting? Go ahead and click Submit to get to the next page where we have a few more questions. The first one being, do you require SMS, which is text messaging? And if you want SMS, you're going to have to click that box right there, which I would recommend. It is a cool and neat feature that you can do a lot with, so I recommend it. The next is, what type of rate plan do you want? You can go ahead and click on the drop-down menu and see what the options are. On this one, we are going to click the pay per minute option and click submit. Before we get down to this information here, I want to talk about the information that's listed at the top of the page. This is important information that you want to read through. It's going to save you some hassle um, in the future um, by opening tickets and asking questions that can be answered by just reading this information here. So. Again, I'm going to stress the importance of wanting to read the information because it's going to save you some time in the long run by, by knowing what to expect in the, in the porting process. So, read this information and save yourself some headaches. The next process we're going to get to is filling out the information here. And what we're going to do is uh, go through this. I'm not going to go through every one of these because they're all really self-explanatory make sure you go through them to see if they apply to your port. It's got a lot of important information and if you fill out the information wrong it can shut off other services that might be on the other account or it could cause a lengthy process of having to resubmit the order due to invalid information. So go ahead and make sure that you're filling out the correct information here and that as you go through this you're reading everything that comes up and again, it's one of those things that a little due diligence is going to save you uh, some time in the future. So we're going to go through here and just fill out some information. And uh, just bear with me as we go through this. And now that we've kind of filled this information out, we'll click Submit. On the next page, this is the confirmation page. Again, you're going to want to read through the information that we're, we're throwing up on the page because it is important to the porting process. You're going to want to make sure that you understand what's happening in the process. And so the more knowledge we have on what's happening, the more informed we're going to be and the better understanding we're going to, ha we're going to have of, of uh, the process. So go ahead and read this information and once you do you're going to click on the I agree which will bring you to this page. This means that I've had success. And the last part is going to be submitting my signature. We're going to have an option here to either upload a signature or just kind of come over here and draw one out. So if you're good on these uh, I applaud you because I'm not very good. Once we've submitted that, we can accept it and finish the port. If we come down here now, we see that port request that we put in right here is now available, pending approval. That's going to be the process for local number portability in the Vitality Portal. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask one of us. And until next time, I'm Brian Ford with Vitality. Have a great day. Frequently asked questions. Question one. 
What is the standard porting time frame? The answer? Three to six weeks for a standard port and 30 days for a project. A project is defined as any port request that has more than 50 phone numbers being ported with the same account information. If you do have a port request with more than 10 numbers on it, you can request a project be created with one of our LMP staff and we'll be happy to assist. Question number two. What is the difference between a billing invoice and a customer service record, or a CSR? The answer? A billing invoice is a document provided by the current carrier that lists the telephone number and the prices. A customer service record is a record containing customer-specific information on end-users accounts. The CSR contains listing, billing, and service and equipment sections detailing the type of listings for the account or accounts as well as a breakdown of the lines and features. Question number three. What is the difference between a requested due date and a firm order commitment? And the answer to that is that a requested due date is a date that the port is expected to cut. A firm order commitment date is a date that has been confirmed and this will be the final port date.